This doesn't look like a complete rubbish. Today we will break down the archery style of Arondir from Rings of Power. Because he uses something I would call River Slavic release or some of you call it a dagger style. And we will not just look at the video, but also I'll grab my bow and arrows and we will try it if it's possible to do it like this. So let's check it out and then we will try to recreate it. So what he does is something very specific. He shoots from the left side. But I can see that he shoots with two fingers. One finger over the arrow and one under the arrow. So only two fingers. So it's three finger style with two fingers. He's also able to load pretty quickly, which is nice because yeah, it's fast shooting method from left side. But the question is, isn't it another movie trick that just destroys archery and it's complete nonsense? Or in the Rings of Power, where they messed up so many things, they did something correct and this can actually work? Well, let me grab my bow, arrows, and let's go to check it out. I know, I don't dare shoot long bow, but this is the longest bow I have. It has 123 centimeters and it feels pretty long in comparison to my favorite Turkish bows. Of course, I will use my running archery fast speed knocks because I just know how to knock them fast, quick and easy. So this is the best way to use them. So he shoots like like this, like this way. They use this style of shooting because it's believable and doable. Yeah, it's more or less okay. I need to figure it out how to... I can't hold it just between my fingers, but I need to hold it like with my palm. Then I can go like this. Yeah, fine. Yeah, but it's like this and I need to catch the arrow with my palm. So when I do the movement, I will show you this in detail later. I can do this pretty easily. Imagine that we have the quiver here, bow, everything's ready. And I am going for the arrow and I need to catch it like this, like this. Then I can put it like that and shoot immediately. So I figured out that when I'm reaching for the arrow, it's good to do it like this. Yes, to hold it like, like this. Yeah, in the palm and with the middle finger. Because then when I want to put it on a string, it's easy like this and then I go to the grip, to the Slavic release more or less. Grab the arrow, put it on a string like this, that's all. Let me show you that once again from this angle. Something like this. I made myself a quiver from a shirt. It's not the best quiver you have ever seen in your life. No, but it's a quiver and we can try to shoot multiple arrows in a row, how it works. This was the best of all. Ah, I turned it wrong way. Oh, that's all. Almost the last one was the best because it really clicked, knocked. It was great, it worked. I also feel that it's very important to say, don't look at your equipment. Don't look at your bow, don't look at your string, at your knocking point, don't look at your arrows and your knock. Always look at your target. Nothing else really matters than that, yes? You see, I don't really need to focus on what my hands and my bow and all the stuff is doing because it is really absolutely not important at the very moment. Just do your archery job. Aim for the target, focus on it, feel it, see it, where it is and shoot. That's everything. Well, I would say one more thing and it is. We see him that he only uses two fingers to draw, which is Okay, you have pretty much strength in two fingers. Maybe I would use three to make it a little easier for me. Also, I would support the arrow because he shoots pretty often in the movement. So I would do really reversed Slavic release. So my index finger holds the arrow and my middle finger and ring finger are doing the, the job. I would do it like this and he does it like that. I can feel that it's working, but I wouldn't believe that it's absolutely usable in the movement. As a running archer, I can tell you that in the movement, in the run, in turns, it's very clunky. If you do not support your arrow, it's almost impossible to hold it where it should be and release the arrow in the way you want to hit something. I wouldn't believe 
this part, but if he does it like reverse Slavic release, I would trust it that it's possible. You saw me being pretty quick in five minutes and if we consider that he's elf that lives for a thousand of years and he can practice every single day, yeah, I believe that he can be that quick. I would learn that in 1000 years too. So give this video a like, it helps me to grow, thank you so much. And also write me down in the comments your opinion on this style, how it works for you, if you tried it or if it's complete nonsense. And I'm looking forward to see you next time. Bye!